Hello everybody, welcome to part 11 of our two band regen radio build. Well guys, it has been a while. Um, I had to sort out quite some things. Um, it wasn't an easy one, I, can, I, must, I must admit that. But there again, I will go into it and uh, I'll try to explain what, uh, what went on. First of all, I want to show you is I put the new socket in. Yeah. Like you know I had that sleeve around that and uh, that socket was not suitable for uh, this receiver because if I touched uh, the number 3 uh, anode, the number 6 anode from uh, the pantode is that sparking. So uh, that means that there's an RF leak in that socket so uh, it doesn't function so I put the porcelain uh, socket into it. Having said that, that wasn't the only thing. I had to put another coil in there because uh, the coil I had in there was uh, in a spatial uh, way uh, wound. So uh, I uh, made a new one with a, with a bit other, other form of 45 millimeters, it's a little bit below uh, 2 inches, 25 millimeters. I put uh, the same amount of uh, turns on there and the same uh, gauge of wire, so there's not much different. The only thing with it is this uh, coil has a bit more capacitance and it has uh, uh, an effect on the regen, on the regeneration of, of the signal. So uh, that's why I done that because I felt it wasn't uh, doing its job as it should. On the other hand, uh, I want to report is you working with a high uh, impedance valve. Yeah. Everything uh, what is it, that means he's very sensitive. He's very sensitive. So anything that is out of order, he will he will, he will pick up and will convert in something you don't want. So uh, uh, the regeneration wasn't very good. Uh, I corrected that, I ch checked it uh, uh, last night, uh, the receiver is wo uh, was working reasonably, but we have another point here, uh, we uh, have another wire here that has to go, that then has to go over the top, so that's what I have to do next, so I will uh, stop the video for a moment and then I'll carry on, okay? Okay guys, I'm back, so uh, there's another other things what, uh, what I have to point out to you. Uh, I removed that rail, what I put down here, I removed that because it has some capacitance influence on, on, the, on the chassis. So uh, I removed that and I put some little, <coughs> excuse me, some little bolts in there, so you get it away from, uh, from, from ground. So I put another resistor, I told that uh, to you in the, in, the, in the previous video, I used uh, two other resistors, one 220k and one 10k. Uh, the 10k I used to get away from uh, the anode from uh, the triode, from uh, actually the receiver, the, the detector. So I put another uh, capacitor in there, 220 picofarads, so to, to ground that, so that uh, no RF can go in, into uh, our uh, uh, AF uh, uh, amplifier. So you just go here, uh, capacitor, onto, uh, straight onto the pot, okay? So that's what I've done. Um, that was noticeable also when you turned the, 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 the VR, you had a response from uh, one from the tickler, so uh, because he's on the same level as, as, as you know, so it's here, we fire that, that's your tickler, if you say, say, connect it on the same, the same point, on the R node, it's just point 0.9, and we fire that uh, 10k a resistor is grounded by uh, a 220p 
I go via a capacitor to uh, the VR. So that RF came into this VR and then it goes round and round and round and round. So you don't want that. You don't, 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 don't want that. The other point is I put in one, uh, uh, 100 nano uh, capacitor on uh, the 220 so to go on that as well so that no RF can get into our our power supply so that's what I've done and hopefully it is clear to you what I've done so another point I have done is uh, between uh, point 0.1 and point 0.9 point 0.1 point 0.1 is uh, our grid from our coil and 9 is your anode, so if they see each other then if they start to uh, do, to influence uh, one another so uh, they get to get feedback and then uh, the, the whole thing starts screaming again so, so I put in a static uh, 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 screen between it and I went all around this even past our uh, uh, ticker capacitor so, uh, so there's no uh, uh, energy comes around to uh, point 0.1 so only to prevent that, it's just that the whole thing starts uh, 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 f f uh, feedback on the, on the whole system so that was it. That's, to be honest with you, it is not an easy job to figure this all out. So the other thing we have here, this is what I was on about. This has to go as well because she picks up the signal from the anode, and that is uh, going this the, the the point where uh, the cathode is on uh, connected. So that's the tap on from the cathode. So she picks that up as well. So we have to remove that. So I will remove that. Get them out. Even this wire here. I will put it up in a house a bit, a bit higher, a little bit, get away from uh, from from that point. So, so you won't have no influence from uh, from anything from an anode or anything on on the tap from from, uh, from your cathode. So I put that up and go go back here on this side. So look, yeah, on this side is that there and this side. I come back then and I put them out there. So I quick make them get rid of it here, bring it to the other side and put them on, on the fire that little hole in jazzes. I put them on the, where it should be, okay? Now, I will show you the schematic uh, in a little bit. So uh, first of all, I'm uh, going to do this. I shut down the camera and I come back to you uh, and tell a bit more about this, okay? Hi right, guys. Well, I've done everything I had to do, so I got that wire that was there. I came around here underneath that resistor and that picked all the signal up from uh, from this wire, from the uh, uh, ticker or the tuning capacitor from the ticker. And it picked up uh, also uh, from... Uh, what is that? Number one, on that side. The possibility you pick up from number one as well. So, uh, and then come around here and then pick it up from uh, our anode nine, and go to uh, cathode uh, number eight. So I avoided that, and I put it on the other side. So I can show you. So that the wire goes over the top and not going to. Uh, so, you see, see what you, if you put the position that right, you can see that. Anyway guys, you can see it here. Normally the, this, this wire went over to this hole, go underneath and go on to pen 8. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then I put it straight on there, so you have the protection now from, uh, from chassis. And it won't influence anything anymore. So tonight, I will uh, have another go at uh, this radio, and hopefully uh, I can uh, uh, make some signals on onto the video. That's what I want to do, so you can hear them. Be, be uh, quite honest uh, with you. Uh, uh, 
he kind of doesn't go very loud. But it's not necessary anyway because you just have to hear the signal. And that was possible yesterday evening, so uh, that went quite well. See, this has come away a little bit. See, I can put some glue on there, super glue or something like that. That will keep those uh, wine, uh, turns in place, of winies in place. So uh, that was it, that lads. And I had to make some adjustments on our capacitors here. Uh, this one is a bigger one. Uh, I think it is 33 picofarads instead of, 20, uh, of 22. So uh, I took another one. I took away from here, from uh, so that uh, our uh, tuning uh, will be in line what we want wanted to achieve. So it was quite easy. It wasn't difficult. So that guys, I will show you the schematic next, and uh, and that is the permanent sch uh, schematic. So. Uh, you can go from there, it is all, uh, all the bugs are worked out, so uh, they're all gone. Uh, all the, I got the, the bugs all out, so uh, there were quite some bugs in there, to be honest. Uh, what concerns our transformer here, it performs very well actually. Um, he does his job, it gives you uh, uh, low frequency uh, audio, it gives you the full board gives two watts so uh, that's I tested that so it's really it's really going uh, uh, going in this way as it should be so I had also uh, taken out the, the VR from audio I had that taken out because I wanted to check out uh, some RF issues I put that back in again so uh, that's about it there's nothing more to report on that so uh, our little receiver is finished, really. The only thing we have to do now is uh, uh, correct the schematic and uh, put some notes down uh, with concerning the coil. And uh, you can go from uh, uh, the values I put in the schematic, you can go from there if you want to build it yourself. Just a, a, a thing of caution. Uh, uh, you get you getting yourself into something, so um, it's not easy, guys. Uh, that's always been said. Well, the region is the most easiest uh, uh, receiver to build. Yes, that's true. But on the other hand, he uh, he has it in it. So uh, you have to uh, have some knowledge anyway, because uh, you're not going to make it otherwise. You have to actually know what you're doing. That's what I want to say. So it is not an easy job. If you follow along with this this receiver, uh, you had all sorts of things coming along. So don't, don't uh, hold it against me because uh, I just start a project, and, uh, and in my vision I start that up and uh, put that in that and that and that. And that doesn't mean when I get to the end that everything will be hunky dory. It's not. So uh, that is some some things what you have to do and to correct and whatever whatever. Uh, my building experience uh, uh, lets me do that. Uh, it will be even worse if you have no uh, building experience or no experience whatsoever. So for those who are never built a radio, it's just uh, you. I don't want to discourage you. Just uh, follow along exactly as I. Uh, uh, set uh, in this last video, um, you will be okay. So, uh, anyway, guys, it was great, great fun to build this thing. Absolutely, great fun. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's put it that way. I will uh, finish the schematic and come back to you and show you that. Alright. There you go, guys. The schematic. Just have a careful look at it. Um, everything is on there, all you have to know, and um, yeah, so as I said, this was a very nice build, and um, if you uh, have uh, any inclination to build this video, I can recommend it, so uh, it will be a nice uh, uh, thing to do, anyway. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but there again, uh, it keeps you off the street and uh, you have uh, 
some enjoyment of listening to uh, the amateur band or even music if you want to. So uh, you don't have to stick to uh, uh, that coil. Obviously, you can make a coil uh, just as well for the broadcast band if you want to do that. That works as well. Uh, you have to work out your uh, your band spread as well. Then uh, I recommend then is uh, uh, this capacitor here. Let's have a look where he is. Oh, tuning capacitor here should be 500 picofarads, and that one should be 500 picofarads. So they have to be equal. So uh, and then of course you have to, the coupling capacitor will stay the same. But uh, you have to work out then uh, this uh, parallel capacitor and your service capacitor. So uh, this will uh, stay all the same. It will protect your uh, detector and also will protect uh, uh, the antenna from uh, RF if it goes in isolation. So the signal can't go out through uh, into the air. So uh, that, that's uh, the main part of this part. So. I also want to show you uh, the other uh, uh, sheet from uh, that I found on the internet, of course. Let's just refocus. And then you can see it is a high impedance valve. Uh, you see our grid has at least 3 mega ohms here and 22 mega ohms here. So what I've done, you can see here. And there is a, uh, a, a resistor involved in this side, 200 volts. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, for anti cathode. And uh, what I done is uh, left, left that uh, resistor in place. And I went down here, this column, but you can see it is 22 mega ohms. I did use uh, uh, 2.2 mega ohms use in in, uh, in our receiver and I left that so, it, so uh, uh, there is no uh, uh, resistor in a cathode so because we have to tickle it there okay that's the only difference uh, well guys that's all I have to report on this the only thing was left to uh, try I say I absolutely try to get something on video working with this video I had some enjoyment yesterday evening I was I was very chuffy to hear uh, uh, Cummings uh, and those out of the thing after all those weeks. So uh, there again guys, I'll uh, shut down the camera and I'll come back to you when I have something new.